Okay, special triangles practice. So state the exact value for each of the following. Okay, so we have a sine of 135. So when I draw 135, it's in the second quadrant here, okay, which is the sine quadrant. So this is 135 degrees. So the related acute angle is 45 degrees. As soon as I see 45 degrees, I'm thinking special triangle. So if you want to draw the special triangles at the top of your page, I think it's going to help for you to reference. Okay. And so we have a 45, 45, and we had a 30, 60. Okay. Opposite 60 is root three. Opposite 30 is one, two. Oh, no, just two. Sorry. Okay. So in other words, what is the, uh, the ratio for sine 135? So sine 135 is 1 over root 2. And this is positive because we're in the S quadrant. Okay, sine of 210. So 210 can be plotted down here. Okay. So we're going to find the related acute angle, which is going to be 180 minus, no, 210 minus 180. And you can write RAA equals... Okay, so 210 minus 180, and I get 30 degrees. So we're referring to this as 30 degrees. Opposite 30 is 1, adjacent 30 is root 3, and hypotenuse is 2. Okay, what is the sine of it? So 1 over 2. Sine of 210 is 1 over 2. But applying the cast rule, this one's actually going to be negative. Okay, cos of 330 is in this quadrant. So we have the related acute angle is 360 minus 330. I get 30 degrees. So this one's going to be 30 degrees. Opposite 30 is 1. Adjacent 30 is 3. And hypotenuse is 2. The cos is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos of 330 equals root 3 over 2. That's going to be positive because we're in the C quadrant. D, tan of 300. So 300 lies here. So our related acute angle is 360 minus 300. So our related acute is 60 degrees. Opposite 60 is root 3, adjacent 60 is 1, and the hypotenuse is 2. So tan of 300 is going to be opposite, which is root 3, over adjacent, which is 1, so just root 3. And this is in the C quadrant, so tan is negative. Okay, we have a sine of 600. We can't deal with 600, so let's subtract 360. And let's find a coterminal angle in the first rotation. I get 240. So this question is actually asking us, what is the sine of 240? Well, when I draw this, it lies in this quadrant here. So our related acute angle is 240 minus 180, which gives us 60 degrees. Opposite 60 is root 3, adjacent 60 is 1, and then we have 2. So sine of 600 is going to be, sine is opposite root 3 over 2, and this is the t quadrant, so this, is, this ratio is going to be negative. Okay, and the last one, tan of negative 585. Tan of negative 585. So I'm going to take negative 585, and I'm going to add 360 onto it. And I get negative 225. And I'm going to add 360 onto it again, and I get 135. 
So we're actually looking for, like this is gonna be equivalent to tan 135. Okay, so I'm gonna take 135 and subtract it from 180 to get our related acute angle. So our related acute is 45 degrees. We get one one root two. So tan of negative 585 is gonna be one over one. So we can just call it one. And this is in the S quadrant. So it's negative one is the ratio. Two, use the special triangles and cast to determine two possible answers for each of the following. Okay, so if I have cos theta equals root three over two, okay, I'm gonna draw the 45, 45, okay? And one is gonna be opposite, one is gonna be adjacent, and uh, two gonna, root two is gonna be hypotenuse. I'm also gonna draw 30, 60. Okay, so relative to 30, one is opposite, uh, root three is adjacent, and two is a hypotenuse. I'm gonna draw a third triangle down here. Let's scroll down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna draw the 60, 30 again. So one, root three, and two. But this time, I'm gonna do it relative to the 60 degree angle. So this time, root three is gonna be opposite, one is gonna be adjacent, and then two is gonna be hypotenuse. So for A, when we have cos as root three over two, I know that it's gonna come from the 30, 60 triangle. Okay, so we're kind of saying when is cos, like when is the adjacent root three? Well, it's when it's 30, right? It's right here. So we get 30 degrees as theta one, then applying the cast rule, C-A-S-T, we're also gonna say when is cos positive? The other uh, time it's positive is in the fourth quadrant, right? The C quadrant. So theta two is also gonna equal 360 minus 30, which is 330 degrees. Okay, for B, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So we're kind of saying like, when is root three the opposite? Like what angle is that for? So root three is opposite of 60, right? Opposite 60. So root three, um, so, so theta one is gonna be 60 degrees, okay? Theta two, and it's 60 degrees because these two were positive. That would change if it was negative. So theta two is going to be, one else is sine positive, sine's positive in the second quadrant. So it's going to be 180 minus 60, which is 120 degrees. Okay, so this time is gonna change a little bit. So we're still asking when is sine, which is opposite, when is the opposite one and the hypotenuse root two? Well, that's for 45 degrees. But, so our theta is gonna equal 45 but our actual theta one and theta two are gonna be different because this is when sine is negative. So sine is negative in the T quadrant, which is gonna be 180 plus 45 degrees. And it's also gonna be positive or negative in the C quadrant, which is 360 minus 45 degrees. So we get 225. Our actual two answers are 225 degrees and I believe 315. After D, tan, when is tan one over root three? So this would be opposite and this would be adjacent. So one is opposite 30 degrees, right? So we're talking 30 degrees is our theta. And this will be theta one because tan is positive in this quadrant. 
and theta 2 is the other time the tan is positive, so that's in the t quadrant. So I get 180 plus 30, which is going to be 210 degrees. Okay, uh, for E, when is cos negative 1 half? So we're looking for an adjacent of 1 and a hypotenuse of 2, which gives us adjacent 1, 60 degrees. Okay, so our theta is 60 degrees, but because cos is negative, our theta 1 and our theta 2 will not include that related acute angle. Okay, so in the cast rule, and sorry, it's kind of blending in now. In the cast rule, cos is negative in these two quadrants here. So we have 180 minus 60, which is 120, and 180 plus 60, which is uh, 240. Okay, and the last one, tan theta equals negative 1 over 1. So when is opposite and adjacent 1? Well, obviously 45 degrees. Okay, so theta equals 45 degrees. But because uh, the ratio of tan is negative, this is going back to cast rule. When is tan negative? Well, in the C quadrant and the S quadrant. So theta 1 equals 180 minus 45 which is 135 degrees. Theta 2 equals 360 minus 45, which is 315. Okay, number three. Given this triangle ABC shown with cos theta equals 1 half, so cos theta equals 1 half means that the side adjacent is 1 and the side opposite is 2. Or sorry, the hypotenuse is 2. So this is a 1 root 3, 2 ratio. Determine the exact measure of each of the following sides. So AB. AB is on this one. AC is on this one. And then BC. Okay, so here's the thing. 14 is in the ratio of root 3. So I would say x times root 3 is going to equal 14. So I want to know what that x is because that x is going to be like our value of 1. Okay, so I'm going to divide both of these sides by root 3. Um, we want exact measures. So x is going to be 14 over root 3. So because this side is the measure of 1, this is going to be 14 over root 3. This side is like a ratio of 2. So this side is going to be um, 2 times, so this is AC, 2 times 14 over root 3, which is 28 over root 3. So this side is 28 over root 3. So AC is asked for, it's 28 over root 3. Okay, for 45 degrees, I'm going to change to green. This is a 1, 1 root 2. So if this is 14, this side is also 14. And this side is going to be root 2 times 14, so that's AB, which is just simply 14 root 2. Okay, and then BC is going to be this collected 14 plus 14 root over root 3. Okay, so um, if we want to find a common denominator, we're going to multiply 14 by root 3 over root 3, which gives us 14 root 3 plus 14 all over root 3.